Brand new video. On today's video, we are clearly at uh, Jamie's Jamie's birthday. Definitely not Jamie's birthday. Zoe's birthday, and we're just chilling out here, trying to make. Oh, trying dude. to make a barbecue. Yo, we're all blacked fail. out. Look, like we're just like this we're is at a uniform. Not at a birthday. Yeah, we're this is a uniform. Shoes, I'm not sure if we're at a birthday or a funeral, but we're trying to make this barbecue happen. Um, guys, enjoy this video. Don't forget to go ham on that thumbs up button. Hit that subscribe button just How down below. Fast you talk. <laughs> Is that, you know, Rap God when he does that thing? Um, yeah, you hey, do you want to hear a joke? Open yeah. your hand, I'm going to put this in there. Yeah, you ready? No, no. Do that one, do that one. That one right there. That one right there. Aye. <laughs> 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 Instant regret. Try and shoot. Oh my gosh. Oh, 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 oh,
my brother's birthday and at the same time we're celebrating um your belated birthday my too. belated birthday and we're eating at one of my family uh one of our friends's um shop called Cordo in uh sunshine it's actually vincent's um family shop and he actually works with a sneaker laundry so let's oh and i didn't show you guys what i got him but i'll show you guys now actually before we give it to him I'm reusing this box that uh, Josh gave me because it was really funny and I didn't know what to do with this box and I didn't want to just throw it away, right? So, we went to JB Hi Buy, Hi Buy, Hi Buy before and bought him this. Um, he watches our vlog, so I can't really show how much this costs. Um, but sure I got him. Just Google it, baby. Yeah, okay, yeah, <laughs> that's true. It's the GoPro Hero 7. Uh, these retail at like $5.99 or $4.99 or whatever it is. Um, this is the new GoPro because uh, he films a lot as well just for like him and his missus while they uh, his wife and missus whilst they go overseas and stuff. Then I also got him a SD card that fell here. Um, so uh, if you use a GoPro, you actually need to use a extreme um, styled Go uh, memory card because of the transfer rate. And you, if you're filming 4K, this is the SD card you actually, micro SD card that you actually need. Yes, I'm a geek, I know, deal with it. Old fashioned, my mum orders way too much food. And, but she orders a banquet for eight people and there's six of us. Like, go figure. Like, isn't, what the hell? Like, so much food. That's all I wanted. I didn't even know we were getting that, but that better be good. Good morning guys, let's start this video. How have you guys been? Oh my god, I feel like I have not picked up a camera for a few days. Honestly, I haven't. I'm gonna tell you guys behind the scenes, I'm actually working on two brand new businesses. Um, you guys are gonna be like, why? Why do you need more businesses? I need more 24 hour businesses, as in they're open all the time. So that means there's gonna be online businesses and also another crazy gimmick business and it's going to be the first of the first. So if you guys are really close to me, you guys already know what I'm actually uh, on the works with, but a lot of people don't. I'm going to keep it a secret for now, but I went to the post office and I did get myself a parcel. I'm going to show you guys why I got this. And I have a new way to design, to design. It's a massive turntable. So a massive like, like rotating turntable. The reason why I got this massive rotating turntable is because I want to put models on it and then keep the photo, the video still, so the camera still, but then rotate the model. And pretty simple, very, very simple. I'm gonna see if this works. Let's pop, and I know who I'm gonna put on it. Hey buddy, you're about to be on my model, mate. That's really slow. Look how slow he's rotating. You're not, you're not impressed by it. He's definitely not. I'm not even impressed by this thing. Like, it's way too slow. So I wanted it to be slightly quicker so when you take like mad boomerangs, you can, the person can just rotate. This is very sad. Very sad indeed, because I spent like a hundred and something dollars on this and it says it rotates quickly. And I don't know if they think this is quick. Like you guys can see Biggie's not even rotating that fast at all. If you guys didn't know, I do all the rendering for all our fit outs and stuff like that. So this is a little example of what I'm working on right now. A vending machine sort of thing. What bigs? How do I get any work if you just sit there and just do this all day? Hmm? Hmm? What are you doing, baby? I'm going through Cocaine's followers to hit up some influencers because we're going to start doing that for our next little... What's it called? I'm lost for words. Fire festival. Okay, it's gonna be our fire festival promotion. <laughs> so right. I'm just trying to find like a bunch of influences that I like and that will suit the brand and has like that look that we're after. Danny, you're still doing this. You are still doing this, but. Okay guys, I have this program that exports all Instagram followers, right? And puts them in like ranking of 
how many people they follow uh, and how many people follow them. It's actually, you can't do this anymore, but I've figured out a way. Okay, buddy, okay, what do you want? I'm trying to vlog here, buddy, and you and your little paws. Come on, mate. Come on, mate. I need to uh, take photos of these new sole brushes that we're selling from the sneaker laundry. This is the way I do it. I put it on this table, take a photo like this, and then I edit it. I'll show you guys. Product shots for me are always the hardest. Like, I just don't know what the look I'm going for. So this is the brush that I just took a photo of. And that's the brush that I've taken a photo of before. So I'm gonna somehow imitate it, make it, edit all this out. It's not that hard, I'll show you guys. It's actually super, super quick. Done, white background, looks really clean. I'm really happy with this. Just finished embroidering this dog hoodie <coughs> for an order and I have realized why I don't have fake nails anymore and why I don't like getting it done is because it is so hard to do anything like threading this machine here, threading anything, I just cannot do it with these nails. Even just getting off like this little paper type bit right here, it's just a mission so I'm using these stupid scissors, so it's been so frustrating. I think this week I need to either get them a lot shorter or just completely take these nails off. But anyways, I'm going to get back to this so I can get this pet hoodie sent out. It is nearly home time for me, but I thought I would show you guys what I quickly added onto the Essential Pieces website. So I've been working on it a lot more lately because sales obviously have not been going that well because I haven't been focusing on it. But you guys saw me, if you guys have been watching since end of last year, for Christmas I did a heap of box logo t-shirts with everyone's names on it and we did it as gifts and I also did a whole bunch for V. I was saying how I wanted to add it onto the Essential Pieces website and I have finally just done it. So if you guys can see right here, we've got the box logo tees available now. Let me just tap on it. And they're only $30, so you can choose between male and female t-shirts. You can choose white, grey and black. I will be adding more colours, but I thought those are the ones that pretty much everyone wants anyway. And then obviously, you can choose the size, the colour, you can choose what type of font you want. Usually, I feel like most people are just going to go with the block aerial font in the uppercase, but you can also choose Times Roman script. And then there's the, all the different colours that you can have your box logo as. So I think it's going to be really, really cool. I'm hoping that it does well. I'm going to start promoting it and advertising it tomorrow. But slowly, I think every couple of days, I want to start adding more human products on it because I think it's just going to work a little bit well with the dog clothes. Plus, winter is coming up as well. Anyways, I'm now going to head home. I need to drop the pups off and go do a little bit of grocery shopping so we can have an early dinner because how has basketball tonight? He hasn't played in God knows how long and it is his grand final. So we've got to eat a couple hours prior so he doesn't feel sick. Hey guys, are you ready to go home? Let's go home, Biggie. Yeah? Look how freaking big their bed is. Honey, let's go home. Come on, let's turn off this light. Come on, come on, honey. Come on, see ya. Bye! Got this signboard that I need to do for my friends at KTN Motorworks. I just gotta put a sticker on top here and a sticker on the other side so they can use this themselves. But I've gotta measure all this and be sure that it fits perfectly. So I'll just stick it on this first and then work it out. I'll show you guys what it looks like. The stickers are all done. Um, I'm actually getting really, really good at making these stickers, which is the good thing about it, that's why I don't charge my friends for these, so it's a good learning experience. I gotta get tape, tape it up, and then line it up, and stick it on the board. But, tonight is actually my last game of basketball for the season, it's actually the grand finals. So shout out to my brother and the team, because they actually made the finals without me, because whilst I was in Japan, we had our semi and our quarter finals, quarter and semi finals, and we made it all through, which is insane. So, I. Like, you guys didn't see two days ago, I went to shoot around. I haven't shot a basketball for a while. I bought an extra basketball as well. I really need to leave soon because these guys can hear in the background. Honey and Biggie are actually crying because Philly said they were going to go home and they understand what that means and they didn't go home. 
So let me quickly do this, rush home, have dinner. I'm gonna get to MSAC really nice and early, put up like a couple hundred shots, get warmed up, because what I realized, when I'm warm, it's better. I hate just jumping on the court just fresh and just cold and it just kills me, it kills me. Final product, look, oh man, this is so good. I actually didn't expect it to look this good. I hate to say it, I thought I was gonna really fuck it up, but look at that, looks awesome actually. And I'm surprised I did it straight as well.